Uh, thank you for being here and thank you for uh, your generous time with our faculty. Could you share with us a little more about what you think those implications could be for deeper understandings and making meaning of a, a revolution that we're in right now? We have to have historical context. Well, we are uh, on a transition into a new era in history, a new journey, and probably the most decisive journey we've had in the 200,000 years that anatomically modern humans have been here on this planet. Uh, we are moving into a period where the challenge is uh, survival. And now our scientists tell us that the uh, exponential shift in the water cycles are collapsing ecosystems all over the world, and we are in the sixth extinction event in real time. This is not a model. We don't know if the human race will survive the sixth extinction of life on Earth. So we need to rethink education to prepare our young people for a completely new period in the human journey. It's unmapped. Uh, we understand what's coming in broad strokes, but our educational system is not designed for uh, our survival and creating an era of resilience and uh, dramatically changing the way we interact with the biosphere and the ecology and the ecosystems on the planet. And so when we have places like the Raw School that are beginning to understand this new form of education, which has to be systemic thinking, interdisciplinary studies, critical perspectives has to be shared so we create a more empathic human being that can learn to be comfortable in a global community that's digitally connected. The next mission now is how do we take this young generation that's Skyping global classrooms. Uh, we have a billion and a half kids on Facebook. It's the largest fictional family in history. And they're beginning to become part of this third industrial revolution. The mission now is for places like the Raw School, which are a small oases, they are, they are test grounds where you spend 20 years in developing the kind of mind you need to become engaged as a participant in the biosphere, a critical mind, systemic thinking. You now need to scale this. It's essential to find kindred spirits, those little pockets of education around the world that are looking toward helping prepare a young generation to live as a responsible member of the biosphere to see the boss of the earth as their indivisible community. This is the critical journey that has to begin to scale very quickly because we have to make this shift into a third industrial revolution, post-carbon, sustainable world in less than four decades or we may not make it. It's as really as serious as that.